this angelic host needed to come in because if not, in this incredible conflict that will come across New York, now that was a prophetic word for you in a very nice way, it will be an incredible conflict across New York and you want to be sure to have all the angels you need aligned to help you harvest in that conflict. Now, so that becomes important for us. Now, why would I be saying that? And that brings us to how we are moving into this new time. We're in this Passover time, but I believe it is a promise time. Because the first Passover was a Passover redemption. The second Passover was a Passover promise. They had to pass over uh, the Jordan River into their promise. They had postponed it for over 40 years. And they made a choice that, and because, see, God waited them out. God can always outweigh us. And he waited them out, and he said, finally, this remnant's ready to go in. Because remember, when he brought them out of Egypt, they went in and checked out their promise, and then they said, that's too much war for us. So they actually slandered the promise. The moment you say, our promise is not war worth warring for. You're going to stall out. And you can stall out for 40 years. You can stall out for 70 years. You can stall out for 400 years. Jesus said, you are going to be worth warring for. Therefore, when he faced the devil out, face the devil off over you, he got it done in 40 days. Now, I, w I think we all need to say we want the 40-day plan. <laughs> we don't want that 400-year plan, and I think there's some things still hooked with America that's on the 400-year plan. And I believe God's going to start flipping those over. During this, during this era, if we'll let him flip, uh, flip them over. We got out of uh, uh, England for religious freedom. You formed it all through here. We went to war over it through here. But then we fell back into the same taxation structures that we got out of, only worse. We were created that every man could be equal, and we went straight into slavery. See, God's saying, wait a minute. If you, I have chosen this nation as a model, but you're going to have to choose to go with me in it. Well, I think we are finally at a place where he's saying, I've got a remnant group that's really ready to go with me. And not postpone the promise. Let's all shout and say, here we are. So, we've got to redeem the time. This is Pam's, my wife's favorite scripture. We've got to redeem the time for days are evil. That means we've got to buy back because it's already been bought back, what we didn't see come under our safekeeping in other seasons. We've got to bring those things back in. So you're not going back in New York this time just reinventing the wheel and saying, here's all the stuff that happened. You have to say, this has never come under the rule that God planned for this whole area. And it brings us to a new prophetic dimension where we're saying this never happened. This was the will of God 400 years ago, but it never happened. 
That doesn't mean that was a false prophet who prophesied it because half the Bible is like that. It means that there was somebody that didn't mix that word with faith and go to war to see it manifest. Now, I'm telling you, there's something about being in this house today that I have liberty to say that to all of New York. Because I've been coming up here for a long, long time, all the way from Buffalo to Staten Island. And I am telling you, there is a great covenant plan in this state that hell has tried to take over. And God's saying, I'm raising up a group that is going to see this promise manifest. Now poke somebody and say, that's us. Now, so it always starts with Judah going first. Always starts with Judah. God has an order for breakthrough. He has an order for victory. And we've got to know he's got a path for prosperity. He created you to prosper. He did not create, and prosperity doesn't mean we're all going to be billionaires. It means that whatever he created for, you are going to fulfill it. That's prosperity. And I decree a new level of prosperity across this whole city that we are walking in today. We say all of that evil force that's trying to push out prosperity in this city, we command you, God has a path right through you. And so, that's really key for us. So there's this new call of worship on us. We have to worship in a new way. And with that, we'll worship our way, just like we've done the last two days, into a new order for restoration, prosperity, and breakthrough. But part of the war is over recovery. And this year is about how we surround our territory. 